Have you ever felt like you couldn't do anything? Everything you were doing was going to be wrong anyway because the narcissist made you feel like everything you did was wrong. You're doing the dishes wrong. You're loading the dishwasher wrong. You're folding the laundry wrong. You're cooking that wrong. You're cutting the lettuce wrong. You're going the wrong way. You're not looking at the map the right way. Your, your outfit is weird. Your hair is weird. Your makeup looks fucked. Everything you do is wrong. So everything you do, you start to doubt yourself. If I wanted to go out with my girlfriends for a birthday, if I wanted to do a weekend trip in Banff with some girls or go to a hockey game with some people at work, I would put it in the calendar. That would be my thing. Pop it in the calendar. And then I would have to walk on eggshells leading up to that event because I knew if he saw it, he had a problem with it, I would know and it would be my problem. If he saw it and I knew that he saw it, I would get the green light and the go ahead. But before that, my anxiety would peak, I would feel completely threatened. Do I even want to go? Is it worth going to girls night? Would I want to deal with that? And then maybe I would get this happy husband and he would say, oh, girls night. Awesome. That's so much fun. And I'd be like, Whew, because you sometimes you get Jekyll. Sometimes they're Jekyll. I love Jekyll. Jekyll's my favorite. Me and Jekyll forever. I could stay married to Jekyll for the rest of my life. I could grow old with Jekyll. Jekyll's amazing. But what happens when Hyde shows up? Ooh, nobody wants Hyde. Hyde is fucked up. Hyde is going to start yelling at me because I want to spend time with my girlfriends. Hyde is going to yell at me for the way the dishwasher was loaded. Hyde is going to be in a bad mood and everyone in the whole house is going to know about it. But I don't know when Hyde is going to show up. I have no idea. So yeah, I would put those little calendar events in my calendar and I would be like, who is going to see it? Is it Jekyll or Hyde? Which one? Because that's the cognitive dissonance that we live in. It's not always two competing thoughts. It's two competing relationships. We're with two different people. We're with Jekyll and we're with Hyde.